Groundwater levels at Cascades Park has been on the rise, causing flooded basements in nearby homes. Residents are getting fed up and they want answers, but it may not be that simple. Elaine Wolfbaker has lived in her Douglas Street home near Cascades Park on and off since she was a kid. There's been four generations of my family living in this house. So we're trying to keep this house going. We don't want it to fall apart anymore, but it's falling apart. If you look right down here, for instance, and over here, it's pulling up. It's pulling up and it's, it's pulling away from the floor. And on, it's just a little bit right now, right here, but I'm worried that when it pulls up more, that these might, you know, start to fall apart. Elaine, who moved back to the home full time in 2014, is now part of the neighborhood group Fix the Lagoons. We're all having problems similar to this, where our floors are separating. If you look in back of you, right over here, you can see there's quite a big gap there, maybe two or three inches. And, uh, and then it's really slanting down now. It's because of the porch failure and the porch is sinking, it's slanting down. Both city and county officials came together to study what is causing the flooding near Douglas, Southwest Ave and Kibbe Roads. Well, we take the residents' concerns very seriously. And in fact, there is a long history of issues, I believe since the early 2000s, um, reports of high groundwater levels in, in the area of concern. What we wanted to do is take a holistic look at the entire um, Sparks Park area, Cascades Falls area, to try to understand the, the influences on water flows through the area, both on the surface, but also underground. Bolt says they are gathering data right now. Civil engineer Amelia McElhaney is concerned to see groundwater levels still rising in the area. The problem seems to be there even when the park's fountains and splash pad weren't running. As we've been uh, installing groundwater monitoring wells, we are noticing surprisingly high groundwater levels, um, even before the Cascade Falls started running this last Friday. One concern is the amount of water discharge through the park. In April, the Jackson County Parks Department received a notice of violations from the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy. It was over the discharge of water associated with Cascade Falls, the splash pad and Hobo Fountain. What we discovered through our discussions with Eagle is that we did need to actually apply for permits uh, called NPDES permits. So we promptly um, got started on that and uh, issued those those permit applications immediately. Um, one of those has been um, issued from Eagle for operating the Cascade Falls and the other two for the splash pad and the Hobo Fountain are still under review and kind of in the public comment period. Cascades Falls discharges 500 to 1,000 gallons of water per day. The splash pad discharges 135,000 gallons of water per day, while the Hobo Fountain discharges 720,000 gallons of water per day. County officials say it's a more complex issue than water discharge and that the park's water features may not be the primary cause. It may be a regional problem instead of a hyper-local one. We want to have a high confidence that they are in fact uh, you know, the causes for, for some of the issues. Elaine, who spoke on behalf of her neighbors, says they don't have a problem with Cascades Park, but something needs to be done. What they're saying is they have to flood us again because they can't look at the monitoring wells unless they flood us. The last thing we want to do is intentionally flood the residents. Bolt hopes to get more information on these issues by July and asks patients from the community saying both sides want to get to the bottom of these issues. Your Jackson neighborhood reporter, Joe Gebhardt, Fox 47 News.